46-year-old former Avon and Somerset Police Constable David Lovell faced a hearing this week which followed a misconduct hearing which followed an investigation by the Forces Counter Corruption Unit which began in May 2021. Confusing, but I will explain. A report was made to the force that Lovell had posted intimate images of a woman on a website, images that she had consensually given Lovell but had not given him consent to share them online although you can guarantee that he'd already shared them with all his mates at the Nick. The investigation began, and during the investigation it was found that Lovell had done the same thing to two other women, who were then identified and contacted, although I'm wondering how they managed to identify the two other women. I'll leave that up to your own imaginations, as well as mine. Now, Lovell was already dismissed from the force back in May, a report that I did miss at the time. All three women claimed that they didn't want to support criminal proceedings, but they were willing to support misconduct proceedings against him. And I have looked. I cannot find any information that the police proceeded with criminal charges themselves, which, of course, they can do, even if a victim is unwilling. Lovell is said to have shared the images whilst he was on duty, and after a bit of searching, I found that he has also been accused of having sex with a colleague whilst on duty at the police station. This relationship also saw him sending her sexual and intimate images of himself. Now, former Avon and Somerset Police Constable David Lovell was dismissed without notice from the force back in May by Chief Constable Sarah Crew, and he was placed on the College of Policing's barred list. But this latest hearing appears to be additional sanctions placed upon him. A sexual risk order against Lovell was granted at a hearing held at North Somerset Magistrates Court on June the 26th under the Sexual Offences Act 2003. This order, which will be in place for seven years, means that Lovell will be placed under certain restrictions. Those restrictions are no unsupervised contact with any child under the age of 18, except in strict circumstances outlined in the order. Not to undertake employment likely to cause him to have unsupervised contact with under 18s. Restricted restrictions on his use of computers or devices capable of accessing the internet, including a ban on using any false or proxy name or alias online not to possess any device capable of storing digital images except in strict circumstances outlined in the order, not to invite or request others to provide exchange sexual images of themselves with him or others, not to share or distribute still or moving images of others in his possession with a third party or in the public domain without written consent, not to refuse or fail to remove or delete any still or moving images of a person taken, created, produced or possessed by him, and over which he has direct control upon the request of the person concerned. Now, a, a judge can amend orders such as these and remove restrictions that are not relevant, which makes me question why they've kept in the restrictions aimed around keeping children safe. I'm not making any accusations, of course, but it does seem odd that they've kept those restrictions in place, especially when recently we had a report about Mohammed Raisat, an East London pensioner who was not only spared jail, but also had his sexual harm prevention order amended by a judge to allow him to see his grandkids, even though he was found to be in possession of 46 child rape and bestiality videos on his phone and failed to tell the police who sent them to him. So I think it's fair that we ask the question, why was he allowed to see his grandkids after being in possession of such filth, but Lovell is not allowed to be around children when his offences seemingly only involve adults. Interesting. 